Okay, so you need to tie your, your two rubber bands together like this, and then that will go underneath your tray. And on each of the pig's feet, you're going to wrap it around twice the rubber band on either side. And that will... That will hold your, your pig down while you dissect, while you cut him open. Why can't I do this this time? I did it last time. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here's the second. We're going to do the hind legs the same way that we did the, the front legs. These are the back legs. Okay. Okay, now we're going to start by opening the, the pig, and we're going to follow the guidelines on the, the handout on your on your dissection guide, and we're going to use a scalpel. On your dissection guide, it shows you a picture of how to, um, how to cut, and you're going to want to cut through the skin and the fat and the muscle tissue, but don't cut too deep, because if you cut too deep, you'll cut internal organs. Um, so we're going to make a Y shape here at the top neck, okay, just like they do in autopsies, and then we're going to go down to the umbilical cord. This is the umbilical cord. For males and females, it's going to look different, okay, so you need to follow your instructions and ask your teacher if you have questions about how to cut around the umbilical cord for um, males and females. So I'm going to go ahead and start and cut through, or we're cutting through skin and muscle and bone, and not bone, but skin and muscle and fat there. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And we may need to go back and cut a little bit deeper in a few minutes, but that's okay. Don't cut too deep. Cut just deep enough. So it's, I cut about half an inch deep. Okay, and I cut through muscle and um, connective tissue and some fat there and some in the skin. Okay, and so now we're going to cut down towards the umbilical cord. For females, you're going to cut around the umbilical cord just at, all the way around. But for males, because this is the penis... For males, we're going to cut around just halfway, and then we're going to cut down two sides. So I'm going to cut straight down towards the umbilical cord, and then cut a semicircle around the penis. And then we're going to cut two lines straight down towards the, towards the scrotum, and around the around the tissue there. Okay, so there's lots of fat. Okay, and so lots of juices as well. We may have to rinse them out after we get him cut open all the way. Okay, so now we're going to try to, to pull back some of this tissue, and so we're going to want to cut through all of that tissue there to try to start pulling back to expose the rib cage here at the top. Okay, and so when, we, when we're doing this, we're going to want to try to get um, not too deep because we don't want to cut the organs, but we want to cut... Um, we want to get just enough so we can start peeling back the skin and the. Okay, so we can expose the rib cage. Their, their bones are real, still really soft because they're they're fetal pigs. They weren't born yet. Okay, and so. Oops. So we need to cut through all of this tissue like this. Okay, this is all fat and. Then, and bones, um, muscle. So if you're not careful, you will cut. Okay, this right here is the diaphragm, and we want to cut the diaphragm away from the wall. Okay, and we want to just keep pulling back and disconnecting that connective tissue. Okay, 
so we can expose all of the organs inside. Again, here's the diaphragm on this side. I'm going to keep... Okay, you see we're seeing organs now, so we want to be careful not to cut too much. Cut just a little bit at a time as you pull things back. Okay. We have a lot of juice here, so we're going to kind of drain some of that off so we can see more. Just kind of let it drip off into your pan. Okay, so here's the diaphragm again. I'm going to go ahead and cut it away from the, the wall of the... Okay, so we've cut the diaphragm away, and we've cut, we've cut away all of the tissue. We can see all of the all of the organs here. At the top, we need to pull this this tissue back as well, so we can see the, the larynx and the esophagus and some of that. So we're going to cut some of these tendons and muscles here at the top, so that we can um, start to see pull the, these back at the top as well. Pull this tissue and this muscle. But be careful because you're going to see the, the trachea there and you don't want to cut through the trachea. If you cut through the trachea, trachea is right here and it's, it looks like a ribbed tube, corrugated tube. Okay, so that's the trachea right there. You can see the trachea. All right, the next thing we need to do is we need to remove the rib cage. And so we're going to use our scissors to do that. And we're going to cut up along the sides of the rib cage and across the top and along the sides so we can just remove the entire rib cage out of the. Um, it's still attached here to the diaphragm at the bottom. If you can see that right there, that's the diaphragm. And so I'm going to cut it away from the diaphragm. And then I'm going to be very careful not to, you want to, when you use scissors, you want to make sure that you put it underneath and pull up, because if you cut their lungs underneath here, and if you cut too, um, too deep, so cut away from the, as much as possible. Okay, so we see we're exposing the lungs and the heart's going to be underneath here. This is the pericardial sac. surrounds the heart and the thymus gland. I don't be very careful not to cut the heart. You don't want to cut the heart and the thymus gland right there. That's the thymus gland at the top. You're going to cut the sternum. see the lungs. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up the other side and we should be good to remove the, the rib cage. Always be careful when you're cutting. If you need to turn the pig, turn the pig. You can turn the pig so that you can cut away from you. Never cut, never do your inner arms like this and cut weird ways. That's not safe. Okay, there's your rib cage. Okay, so we're going to set that aside for now. Okay, and now we're going to try to remove all of the organs together in one piece. Okay, and so um, your instructions tell you what to cut first. So I'm going to show you. We need to cut this tube here. This is one of the uh, umbilical arteries or veins and one of the attachments that connects it to the umbilical cord. So we're going to go ahead and snip that so we can pull that out of the way. 
And we're going to start by removing that by um, cutting the, the larynx up here at the top. Okay, and that's the that's where the trachea is. And so we're gonna just slice right through that right there. Okay, right behind it is the esophagus. The esophagus is that little tube right there behind it. So we'll go ahead and cut that as well. Okay. And so now we should be able to to start. Now I have a few ribs that are sticking out here poking me, so I'm going to just try to push those back a little bit so we can get to the to the rest of those organs. Okay, so we're going to pull the larynx downward and we're going to start cutting the, this tissue away from the spinal cord. This is the spinal cord back here behind. Okay, you want to carefully just cut that tissue away and it's not hard to to do. You just have to be careful that you're not cutting. You want to cut close to the bones. You can feel the bones right there. I'm going to do it on this side, right here, so I can, can see the rib, the bones, a little bit better there. Y'all can't see that on the video. Okay, so if you look here, so as we kind of pull that back, there are some, there's some, some tubes and things that go down there, but you just want to cut as, just cut through that tissue as close as you can to the, um, to the um, bones in the spinal cord. And it should just all easily come out. There may be some other connective tissue that you need to cut, but it's really just all that white, stringy kind of material that you're pulling away. you do the same thing on the other side. The kidneys are at the back and so there may be a little bit more tissue around the rib cage around the back of the pig that you have to cut a little bit. But Okay, now when we get to the bottom, down here where the intestines are, we're going to have to cut the intestines and the, and the bladder, I think. Tony, can you turn the page? No, that didn't help any. Okay, so down here at the base, you can see the large intestine. This is the rectum. And I don't know if we can see the bladder. This is the bladder, isn't it? I'm not sure if we're supposed to cut that out with it or... sure. I'm just going to cut right here. Okay, so I'm going to cut right here at the base of the of the large intestine and of those the kidneys and all of that and, and we should be able to once that's detached in the back uh -oh. take out our organ block. So there are all of our organs. And so now we have completed part B, which is the um, internal, taking out the, in, the internal organs. And what we're going to do with our pig is we're going to take our pig and we're going to put him back in our plastic baggie. So the baggie where we put our juices, we're going to put our pig in that. We're going to leave our... Leave our organs out for the rest of the dissection.